Today we're talking about the segment addition postulate, a topic in geometry that allows you to add up smaller portions of segments uh, equal to the larger portion of the segment. So basically what the segment addition postulate says here is we have segment AB with C on segment AB somewhere in between here. So what happens here is if we can take the length of AC, the length from here to here, and if we add it to the length from C to B, this length from here to here, that is going to give us the entire length of the segment. And that's what the segment postulate says, is that you can, as long as a point is in between two other points on the same line, you can add up the smaller portions, the smaller segments, and it needs to equal the entire segment length. So that's the segment addition postulate in a nutshell. So let's look at a couple of problems involving the segment addition postulate. Here we're given some lengths. Given the length of CO is 2x plus 8. Let's write that in here, 2x plus 8. And the length from O to W is 3x minus 5. And we know the entire length of CW is 53. So the entire length of C to W equals 53. So notice this is the entire segment length, and that's important to remember to be able to point out to yourself. This is the entire length. What is the length of OW? So in order to find this length, we're going to set up the relationship from the segment addition postulate, which says that the length from C to O plus the length from OW will equal the length CW. So that is from the segment addition postulate. These two smaller segments add up to give you the entire segment length. So now that we know that relationship, we can write down the algebra here. So 2x plus 8 plus 3x minus 5 gives you the entire length of the segment, which is 53 units in this case. Now we simply have an algebraic statement that we have to solve. So we're going to combine like terms. 2x and 3x is 5x, positive 8 minus 5 is positive 3, equals 53. So let's solve this for x. We're going to subtract from both sides. 5 times some number x equals 50. So when we divide both sides by 5, we figure out that the value of x in this case is going to be 10. Okay, good to know, but that's not what our question said. Our question said, what is the length of OW? So now that we've solved for X, we have to go back in and figure out what OW is. So we were given that the length of OW is 3 times X, in this case X happens to be 10, minus 5. So 30 minus 5, the length of OW is 25 units. So it might be centimeters or inches or millimeters or miles or whatever. But because we're not given a unit, we're going to write units there. So the length of OW is 25 units long. And that is how we're going to use this segment addition postulate. Given some lengths, create an algebraic relationship from the geometric definition, solve for x, and plug it back in. Okay. Let's do one more example. Given that CT is 8x minus 10, CT, oh, notice this is the entire length. So here we're given the entire length first rather than the shorter lengths. That's the entire length. CA is x plus 4, and AT is 3x plus 10. And what is the length of each segment? So once again, we have to set up some algebra, solve for x, and then we'll replug back in. So according to the segment addition postulate, the length of CA plus the length of AT equals the entire length of CT. So now we'll put in our values, x plus 4 plus 3x plus 10 equals CT, and CT was 8x minus 10 total. So now we have created an algebraic equation that we need to solve. So let's do that real quick. 4x plus 14 equals 8x minus 10. Okay, I'm going to subtract the 4x from both sides to keep x positive. 
and at the same time I'm going to add 10 to both sides to get it on the other side of my equals. So 10 and 14 is 24, 8 minus 4 is 4x, 4 times some number equals 24, that means that number has to be 6 when we divide both sides by 4. So the value of x in this case is 6, which is fantastic, but now we need to go back and figure out these other things. So CA is supposed to be x plus 4. So x is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, so CA is 10 units long. AT is 3 times 6 plus 10, according to our equation. 3 times 6 is 18, not 24, as I was about to say it is. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 10 is 28 units long. And there are a couple of ways that we can figure out what CT is. One way is to, of course, use the formula that we just plugged in. But we know that CT is CA plus AT. So that would be 10, CA is 10, AT is 28, so 10 and 28 is 38 units. So we have CA at 10 units long, AT at 28 units long, and CT at 38 units long. So the key here, remember, is when you're setting these up, which is your entire length value? And that has to go by itself, and the other two add up to it. Okay, hopefully that uh, clears things up and you can remember the segment addition postulate.